Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and in today's episode of Factorio, we are actually going to begin production on the big factory. That is right, after... X... X, gonna give it to you amount of um, episodes, we are actually gonna get rolling on the big factory here. So the first thing that we need to do is remind me to set my stupid alarm. There we go. Set my stupid alarm so I know when to stop the episode. Second thing we're gonna do is begin filling up some more of these buses now what I like to do is I like to bust down iron gears because they are used in a considerable amount of things see iron gears iron gears iron gears the other thing I like to do is bust down um, electronic circuits because again these are used in a variety of things so what we're oh I just accidentally canceled that out of my next research um next research can't do that one um, laser? I don't need anything down the laser line. Not really. Can't research that. Don't have blue. Nope, 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 nope. Efficiency modules. Not really going to use those yet. Ah, here we go. Like Electric engine. Perfect. Research that. So let's start with iron gears first. So I'm going to extend out our bus here a little bit. That was beautiful right there. Did you see the way I extended that bus? That, that was nice bus action, if I do say so myself. And then we're going to break off of our bus right about here seems pretty okay. Bring that up. So how I set so how I set this up is I have this adaptive design that I um that I use for all my factories that allows for very easy expansion. Oop, did I accidentally click on that? I did. That was my bad. Um, I'm not going to go into it in too great of detail this particular video because I do have another video that actually goes into much greater detail about how I do my whole adaptive set out. So uh, check that out. It's in my Factorio playlist under how to set up a modular and adaptive factory. So like I said, not going to go too deep in here. Actually, I'm going to need to run power. Let's get that ran. Perfect. I'm going to run power like that. It's crappy, it's half-assed, it's just the way I like it. Do I have alt on? Now let's research, or not research, create. Alt, there we go. Perfect, now that's going to make iron gears. Now this won't be enough to satisfy the factory, but it's going to be a start. And like I said, with this adaptive design, I can literally just keep on extending and bring it down as up until I run out of room up here. And like I said, if you guys want to see my adaptive um, factory video, be sure to check that out. I should, I hopefully will, hopefully Future Joe will remember to leave a link in the description. If Future Joe does not, please yell at Future Joe. Future Joe is an idiot. All right, sweet. Now the complicated, Jesus Christ, that was fast. There we go, that ought to slow it down. Now the complicated part, like these right here, these are my buses, but these are kind of more my recommendations, just like placeholders so I could plan out my factory. See, it's going to extend all the way out this way. Might run into that oil at some point, so I'll have to keep an eye out on that. So, I'm going to bus them down this line right here. Is that even a good idea? Yeah, that's going to be a great idea. It's just a matter of getting them there. Do I bring this bus up? You know what, for the sake of conformity and the fact that I'm too lazy to move that bus up, I'm just going to bring a whole bunch of belts down and make and really mess up my setup, and it, it's going to be great. And then people are going to call me out on it, and I honestly hope somebody does. Because past Joe is being an idiot. I'm still running all of my copper off of that little mine too, by the way. So my copper is probably going to run out here hopefully very shortly so I can actually wire in the other. I don't know if I showed in the last episode, but I did set up the secondary um, copper mine. Or the what I'm going to do is my primary copper mine. Bring that in like that. Split the line. 
perfect. Oh, kind of perfect. Now, I'm no expert on splitters, and I'm not really 100% sure why this design works, but I've watched very many videos on Factorio on how to, like, do it, and, like, that's the design that I see all the time for buses, so I've just kind of rolled with it. And I would like to throw in a disclaimer, these three assembly machines are not going to be enough for this factory, but it's a starting point, which is all that I really want. There we go, so we got a full bus going, full-ish bus going. That's looking pretty average at best. While I'm over here, might as well wire up this one. probably hear my mechanical keyboard tapping away. It's the only thing I don't like about my mechanical keyboard is it can get really loud and I'm really harping on the keys. Yeah, at some point I'll change this over to Red Belt. For uh, those of you who don't know, Red Belt is the uh, next tier up and then I'll eventually upgrade to Blue, but I think Blue happens after I get Foil. Go into E here. Um, Blue Belt. I don't even have the ability to look at Blue Belt because I haven't researched it yet. So that's splendid. Right, so that's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to need is we're going to need to do electronic circuits, which require three copper or three three copper or two copper cable. We'll just kind of set this right here. We'll bring it up here. Underground belt, bring that up. That's looking beastly. We're going to do some ratio stuff here. So this requires three copper cable. One copper plate only makes, or these require three copper cable. One copper plate only makes two. So a good ratio. So we do um, three to two. Three of these for two of those. So we're going to make one, two, three, four. So let's see, I want to make nine. I want to be able to do three, so I want to make nine. So eight. Why can I not do basic math? So I'm going to set up five advanced assembly machines for this portion. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now I hope everybody understands why I'm doing this. Because this makes two, this requires three. So I want to be at least making for the time being, three, I want to have three electronic circuits being made or being produced in an assembly machine. So one, two, three for my three electronic circuits. So this is two, so I have to round up. So dear God, I'm just crushing it. Um, shoot, um, I don't know what else I can research right now. Um, Logistics robots? I need robotics, which I need batteries. Research. Good. I just ran out of assembly machines. Well done planning, Joe. You the real MVP. Whoop. Misclick. And we'll bring that out. Sweet. So now I need to go grab more assembly machines. Am I actually making assembly machine twos? No, I am only making assembly machine ones. Well, whatever, I'll have to fix that at some point. But right now is not that time. Assembly machine ones we'll just have to do for the time being. All right, so again, another thing that I do with my adaptive factory is how to like merge resources. Cause obviously to make electronic circuits, we're gonna need iron. So this is actually something that I worked on for a little bit of time before to kind of keep the whole adaptive thing. Now, the reason why I say it's adaptive is because I can just keep extending up. So I wanna keep that theme going here. So if I bring down that, if I bring down the copper cable, 
and then I'm going to merge this all in on one belt, like so. There we go. And then my assembly machine, so I want to do one, two, three off the bat. And extend over power. And look at that, we're making them. We are best team ever, even though I'm really the one who's doing all the work. But you know, you guys are there too. You're, you're, you're doing stuff, and I respect that. I don't know what you're doing, but you're at least doing it. Whatever it is. Do I want to make this a full? belt of resources I kind of want to so we'll kind of split this oh, nope goofed nope still goofed ah I am I promise you I know what I'm doing I think oh I got a snapchat Eh, Batman can wait for the time being so let's pull these out one two three and make a few more fast inserters. That's an, that's the other nice thing. I can actually start making the more advanced inserters, quote unquote. And what I mean by advanced inserters are the different uh, inserters. So I'll actually be able to make our fast inserters, our long-handed inserters. You know, it's just going to be a great time all around. Well, since I am only taking off of this one belt, that's just kind of. So in theory, what that'll do is it'll kind of bring resources up to help. Because um, right now, since I'm only taking off of one belt, I can deplete that one belt pretty easily since this is getting all the priority right now is our steel, is our iron gear research. By doing this, it kind of helps bring resources up from this bottom belt. Before I do that, I want this... I really want to try and fill up the belt here because it just helps split things much nicer. Dear God, that's going fast here. Um, oh, sweet, I can do um, electric furnaces. Yeah, hell yeah, research that. Bring across... Oh, crap, crap, I am failing at basic motor skills. There, I have succeeded at basic motor skills. Nice. Oh man, I, I didn't think I'd actually get this much accomplished in this episode. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the next one. I'm gonna have to make something up here in the next uh, couple of minutes because I'm sure my timer's gonna go off here relatively quick because it feels like it's been pretty close to 14 minutes or whatever I said it. Oh, and I was right, I am like a minute off, so I'm gonna quick finish this up shoot overshot that a little bit but it's okay we're having fun we're having fun everybody here fixing my mistakes beautiful it's coming in oh, I will bring I will extend up oh, just ran out of belt holy crap I ran out of belt all right, time to piss off this thing. 800 transport belt, very nice. That should satisfy me for the time being. Excellent, look at that. And I even beat out my timer here by 18 seconds. Perfect. All right, so I'm thinking here for next episode, what'll be kind of nice to do is we're gonna transition, now that I got these basic resources out of the way, kind of the groundwork laid, we're gonna transition everything over here, over to here. And we're gonna use this adaptive uh, design a little bit here. It should be, it'll be pretty cool actually, once it's all said and done. Oh yeah, we are hogging up research like a beast. So I think we're gonna translate all of this over to here. So we'll do, Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll take inserters, belt, splitters, and underground belt, and automate that all next time. 
That'll make for a pretty good episode. And then, is there anything else that I really want to automate? Gear production, good. Probably do the research after that, get that all automated, slightly more efficiently made, because uh, to be completely honest with you, that's not my best work, and I, and I will admit that. Look, are we not getting, no, we're not, we're not getting that belt. We're not getting the iron, or the copper over there. That's a little bit of a bummer, but I'll, I'll figure that one out here. And I'll, I'll do a little bit of tweaking on that. Maybe if I just do that, that should hopefully fix most of my issues. Look at that. Now it's a little bit smoother. Kind of. One, two. One, two, three. Okay. You know what? I will figure that one out when I come back. All right. So next episode, we're going to start translating more of my starting factory over to the big one. We'll extend the belt down, and we'll just kind of see where the next episode takes us. So uh, thank you all for checking out this video. I'll keep pumping this one out a couple episodes every week. It's kind of my my baby right now. I think about this. I actually do a lot of work off camera. Like I added in um, quite a bit of our copper production I added in. Yeah, see all that that I've added in? Yeah, once this whole... Yeah, that one's almost all depleted. Once this is depleted, I'll get rid of that, add that in. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. But that is all the time we have. So until the next episode, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. <laughs>